Hi, that was Daisy Bell, commonly known as A Bicycle Built for Two. I made a video of that a couple of years ago for YouTube, and since that date I've had several requests from people asking me to explain how to play it. So this is that video. And in the video I'm going to uh, play the tune in slow motion with some fretboard diagrams. Then I'm going to play the tune again in slow motion with still frames to show you the position of the fingers. And then I'm going to play two or three choruses of the tune with the variation just to show you what you can do with it. So let's start off with the fretboard diagrams and let me explain what the diagrams mean. Here's a typical fretboard diagram and on it you can see a red square which is in this position is telling you what the title of the tune is, Daisy Bell. And the square below it tells you what chord is being played while the tune is playing. And the third square on the fretboard diagram explains which bar is being played and which beat of the bar is being played. And Daisy Bell is a waltz, so there are three beats to each bar. When you see a circle uh, above the top of the fretboard on the right-hand side of the diagram, it means that the yellow circle means it's an open string and the blue circle means that the string is, is going to be played at some stage during the chord. And I've put in the odd red X on the bass string for a D chord, just to remind you that when you're playing a D chord, you don't play the sixth string. So the blue circles together form the shape of the chord that you're holding down, and the yellow circles indicate which particular notes of that chord are being played. Right, well, let's start off with the uh, slow version of Daisy Bell, showing the fretboard diagrams. Now I'm going to play Daisy Bell again, this time at the same speed, but with still frames showing you where the hands are in relationship to the actual notes of the music.
OK, I'm going to play three choruses of Daisy Bell, uh, twice straight through, and the middle chorus with some variations, just to show you what you can do with it. Uh, it's worth remembering that you don't have to follow the, the tab or the, or the fretboard diagram slavishly. If you want to put your own bass patterns into it, you can do. I'm not showing any uh, video of my picking hand, but basically the bass notes that run throughout the tune are played with the thumb. One, two, three, one, two, three. And the melody is picked out with the first and second fingers. So it's a very, very simple tune indeed. And you can get the tab for the tune from my website, which is www.mjra.net forward slash will fly forward slash tabs dot shtml okay well i hope you found the video useful and uh, practice hard and you'll get it